We had a great auction last weekend, I know, because I was successful. Look at my gorgeous retro necklace. Everybody loves it. Funny thing about auctions is often people don't notice things during viewing, and three or four of my uh, contemporaries, ladies, uh, looked at it on me on the Monday and said, oh, was that in the auction, was it? I said, yep, it sure was. So for $120, I got a lovely sterling silver necklace, which was fabulous. But, better still, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. You wonder why I'm so excited. This is a fabulous watch. If you have a look at the details from the auction, it was uh, valued for insurance purposes at $6,000. Uh, at auction, it's worth about a quarter. I paid $1,200 for it. It works, but I'm going to have to have it serviced. Servicing is going to be about $300. And of course, my wrists aren't so delicate, so I need the band extended. And that'll probably cost me another three or $400. However, this is a brilliant Art Deco watch. This is something that I really, really, really wanted. And I was really, really pleased there was no competition, which is what happens at auction. Anyway, I love it. I bought it really for myself, but in view to handing it down to my daughter when she's old enough to appreciate it. She's just 18 at the moment, so I think she needs a couple more years to appreciate it. And then my money will be worth um, while spent. So that's fabulous anyway. So that's my really good result. We've had every auction, there are lots and lots of good results. Um, both for the vendor, which is the seller, and the buyer. Uh, vendors often have no choice because the buyers decide what they're going to pay for something. And we are very candid with our vendors and explain to them that yes, we think this is what it's worth, but often that's not the case. Now, um, so auction is all about the buyer, about the buyer getting the best possible purchase. You can't blame them, that's what auctions are about. So the two uh, French cabinets, the Boulet cabinets. Five, how much? Five thousand. Five thousand is the absentee bit. Any advance on five thousand per item, and you, uh, the option is there to buy the both. Five two. Five two. Five two. No, five two is there. Five two is there. You still got more. Five four. Five four. Five four. Any advance on five thousand four hundred. Five six. Five eight. Sure. Five thousand eight hundred dollars. We're selling at five thousand eight hundred dollars. Film this so we can see that we had genuine bidders here, so he knows it. Five thousand eight hundred dollars. Yes, of course I should have sold. The, the peer cabinets, they sold really well from both the vendor's point of view and the buyer's. So that was a pleasing result. Hi, welcome to another Amanda Adams Auctions Overview. We had a very exciting auction on Father's Day. Uh, some of the art did really well. Just watch what happened at, on lot 120, 122 and 125. Uh, 2,600, 2,750. And it is on the mark. Phil. Okay, 2,750. Any advance on that? 2,750. The number is? 819. 6,000 is with David with the absentee. Is there an advance on $6,000? $6,000? 61. 61. Sorry, six and a half. Six and a half. Six and a half. Is the other phone bidding or not? Six and a half. I love this. Six and a half. Ready? Six, six. Six, six. Six, seven. 6,700? I've given the option. 6,7? Six, 6,7 seven. Six, seven against you. 6,7? 6, 6,8? Six, six, eight. Six, eight. 6,800 dollars. Is it gone? 6,8. 125 is a Rika Moore. Also a very good local artist who's only been going up and up and up and up. Can this I is just, a screen print edition, one out of one. It's like an original. Go on. Uh, in the current Rick and Moore exhibition at Niagara Galleries, half size ones uh, that size are selling at Niagara for $10,000. Wow.
Okay, there you go, people. Half the size. If you don't believe us, do your research. Where are we? Two and a half thousand dollars. Two and a half thousand is here. We're on the market. We're on the market at two and a half thousand dollars. Any further bids? Two and a half thousand dollars. Who are we? Eight one nine. These are all coming up at our next auction on October the 11th. Uh, these are by Dudley Drew. And there's some McWalters behind me coming up at the next auction. If you want a chance to also include your items in the auctions, every Thursday between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock, we have our free market appraisals. Come in, bring your items in, bring photographs of the items in. Uh, or if you can't come in, just give us a call and we'll make other arrangements. Give us a call on our office number, which is uh, 03 9850 1553. Or come along to 194 Bulleen Road, Bulleen, every Thursday between 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock for our free market appraisals. Good afternoon. We're here at our Thursday afternoon appraisals. And every now and then something interesting does come into the rooms. And we've just had this overmantle delivered to us. And this is the owner of the overmantle who's consigning it to our auction. What can you tell us about the overmantle? We've had it for uh, 10 years. Um, it's been hanging on the wall, covered in dust. We bought it from a country estate. Um, up near where we live up in the hills. It's, it was in a back shed. Uh, it was only after we got it home and cleaned the dust off that we noticed it was, was signed by, by M. Gibb. Yes, on the reverse, it's been signed twice by M. Gibbs and dated 1914. And we believe this will probably be by May Gibbs. Uh, so this is coming up at our next auction. And we'll be doing more research on the item. And hopefully, if it turns out to be by May Gibbs, which we believe it is, this is going to be worth a small fortune, but it is coming in to be sold unreserved. Correct? Correct. Yep. The owner has decided to put it in without reserve, so this will be coming up at our next auction on the 11th of October. And, we'll, and what we'll be doing is following this through the auction system too to see what happens at the auction. Ah, oh, for timber, yes, almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me. But it's, it is made out of cedar, so it is an Australian piece of timber. So we'll see what happens at the auction and watch this space. Hi, do you remember that rare German Shepherd by McHugh Potteries in Tasmania? Many bidders on the item. Just see what happened at the auction. Eight hundred dollars for it? Yes. Eight hundred I've been offered? Yes. Eight hundred dollars? Eight hundred in advance on eight hundred dollars? Eight fifty? Nine hundred. It is rare, but don't come up that often. Thousand? Thousand is on the other phone. Uh, thousand and fifty case. Thousand and fifty. Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred on the other phone. Eleven fifty. Eleven fifty. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred on the other phone. No, twelve hundred in the room. Oh no, sorry, twelve hundred in the room. Twelve fifty. 1250 1300 in the room 1350 1350 yes. 1400 is on the other phone 1450 is with me 1450 1450 we have some really interesting things coming up in our next auction but no but no buts. We don't want buts. In the in the auction. No, no. What should I say after that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. You could own a redhead right next to Chairman Mao. Ninety-four is a retro Maria de Ruta ceramic Italian black vase.